Here's a quick example on using our 3D libraries to create 3D scenes. Let's do this, uh, grab this 10 by 10 back wall, put it on your 10 by 10 booth, and let's look for some furniture pieces. Let's grab this table, put it on the right, grab the chair, duplicate that chair and uh, position it, duplicate it again so we can create a little conversation area now let's look for some figures to add some life to this here's a guy drinking coffee let's just drag him, put him right there move the chair back adjust him in and let's grab another figure and uh, place them right across and adjust that chair a little bit and uh, let's um, move this table forward that way we can see it now we can see that the table is 30 inches high now when we grab our laptop here place it right on the table. The default setting for the laptop is 40 inches so we're going to change that to 30 that way it falls right on top of the table. Okay. And once we have all that, that's, let's just save. We're going to get the confirmation that yep, everything's saved. And now we can preview our scene in 3D. It's loading up and here it is. Let's zoom in a little bit. So we can see here. We can rotate. We can adjust our background colors, a light floor and a sky view that's a little that matches the booth. We can still tilt around the booth to get the perfect angle that we want. And uh, once we have that angle, we can take a snapshot and save it right to our desktop and put the JPG extension so that we know it's a JPEG and uh, hit save. Once we've saved, we can share that file with the friend uh, and whoever gets that file will go directly to the 3D and not the 2D version. And that's all we have for today. Thank you very much.